This Week in Comics. I can't even ruin it for you right here in the beginning. I only was able to pick up five comic books because of shipping something or other. So, let's roll the intro. Hey, you wonderful weirdos, Pokan Joe here, and as always, you're pretty cool for coming by. Love having you here, and as said in the intro, I just shipping delays and stuff I didn't want, and, and no independence because of something with diamond and shipping. So this is going to be a short one. Also, um, if you're in the chat right now, because this is a premiere, I apologize for not being, you. normally I try to stay in the chat. Unfortunately, I've had, it's Veterans Day, and you know, American legions and everything else. So I apologize for not being in the chat, but I hope you can talk amongst yourselves and uh, Let me know what you think about the books that we got here. So let's jump right into it um, First off uh, action comics uh, number uh, 1036 first off that cover right there. I like this kind of World War II old-school golden age type cover uh, This is interesting because we're dealing with Superman and Authority getting to you know, war world uh, there and, and, and kind of facing off in Mongol and uh, what what's going to happen. So this is the big, you know, right before the fight, the flex, if you will, right? They're flexing on each other. And uh, it's pretty cool. The Guardian story in the background is, is, is not overly particularly interesting to me, but I kind of kind of dig in this. I like where this is going. You know, it's got the, the spooky, you know, undertones of religion and the, the misconception of chains and a lot of symbology in this it, it, it's 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 refreshing and i really like it so uh let me know what you think of it uh the joker number six so finally the joker decides to show up in his comic book you know for a brief cameo um but again this is more about lady bane and why she's significant and we're kind of getting hints about the cannibal family which the the I am interested in that. There's always something interesting to that. Uh, basically, there was a scientist. He basically ran a human meat market for people that, on high-end rich people, you know, that like to eat people. You know, the whole eating the rich scenario, that kind of, yeah, that thing. But I like the, the direction that this took it in. I thought it was interesting. But that's the only aspect of this book. I'm reading The Joker, and I'm more interested in the things around The Joker than I am The Joker himself. I don't, know. I don't know. And I couldn't get connecting. I couldn't even get a connecting cover for this. Like, I would have done that because the other one has Joker and the I couldn't even get that. It happens. Um, Justice League, The Last Ride. So, this is the end of this. I actually dropped this, but if I didn't pick it up, that would have been four comic books. And I kind of already knew the story, so I wasn't too lost in reading this. Basically, this is the um, superficial conclusion to this. I say this because. Uh, Justice League is going universal, right? They're like they're always growing and expanding. Um, I like the way the battle was won in here. Um, some snarkiness with Lobo getting his head chopped off and having to be, you know, recreated. We got Hal Jordan stepping up. We got Martian Manhunter stepping up. Big time, epic battles happening. Um, you know, Superman and and Batman, our two go-to guys, are kind of out of the fight for a minute in this. Um, that was really cool, and I just, I, I like Darkseid as a character. The whole, you know, care of nothing, right? Just blankness that he is, and wants everything around him just to be blank and, and, and done with. Um, definitely makes a good villain. It definitely offsuits the so many superheroes and kind of minor league villains that were in it, that he got to take kind of the main stage in it, and I, that I really much enjoyed. So yeah, last one on that one. Uh, next, The Thing. Um, the Thing comic books were never really overly interesting to me, even in their older phase. You know, that's why they're probably in doubt, not because of me, but you know, you can usually pick these up in a dollar bin, the older ones. But I like this one. Loads of new characters in this. Um, we get the, uh, the, the, I, I guess the visualization of it, or, or the, the metaphor, you know, of, of you know, the expectation that you should have or that you that you end up with when things and when they don't go your way, you tend to fall through depression. So in this one, you know, his wife right, apparently was out with another gentleman, not on like a date thing. This is a friend thing. But apparently those boundaries were never set up in this storyline. Um, worst case scenario, uh, 
the thing ends up in jail, you know, meets up with Hercules. We got a new villain in the background, the emotional villain, you know, that depressed villain, the sadistic one. And then we have an outward villain who's just going to fight him outright, right? So we got the mind and the the brute, if you will, the physical and the, the metaphysical, I guess, would be the way to look at it. So we kind of have that going on here, and that really brings a dynamic to the thing. So I may be picking up some more of these. And last but not least, Venom, this 1 in 25 cover. I was surprised to be able to get that. And this one, we get a young boy. He's trying to, you know, dad's not there, so he's got to break out and be mature on his own. And then we got, you know, Eddie Brock trying to deal with cosmic supreme issues and, and leadership. And then we get, again, a more villainous thing happening in the background where we're going to deal with time and space and the bending of it. And it seemed like a lot of complicated uh, subject matter going on at the same time, right? You got maturity, you know, and, and, and growing up, and then you got this cosmic thing going on, and then, you know, your usual, you know, you got to follow certain rules, but sometimes you got to break rules. Like, it seems like a lot of stuff crammed in it. So I'm hoping that the story kind of fleshes it out and doesn't try to do this all through its series, because that, that's just too much, really. So hopefully this gets picked apart a little bit as we go down the road but all in all really enjoyed this story so that is it folks again apologize i'm not in the chat with you guys um but happy veterans day to all the warriors out there i hope you all have a great 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 weekend it seems odd to have a day off and then a work day and then a weekend i don't know why we just don't stream that out but whatever and uh, don't forget go get your you know your veterans discount You've earned it. Free cup of coffee at Wawa. Plenty of places have meals for you. Enjoy it. All right, guys. I got nothing else. Literally a six-minute video. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.